Hey guys, we're talking hoops today here on Z Code System on YouTube. Great to have you back here with me. And as you can see there on your screen, you can see my latest blog on the ZCodeSystem.com backslash website for the 2021-2022 EuroLeague basketball playoffs, which are raging on right now on the continent and are very exciting. If you've never watched the EuroLeague, I think you might like it. I'm a fan of the EuroLeague basketball Um well, tournament, I guess you could call it. It is a very exciting way to watch your basketball. If you're an NBA fan, this is maybe a little bit of a more up-tempo uh, style of basketball, maybe a little bit more like what you would see with NCAA basketball with great crowd atmospheres, very different than the NBA, uh, more like the college game, more like a soccer match in Europe, but a basketball game. So today we're talking about the EuroLeague playoffs, which, like I said, are going on right now in Europe. Um, you know, we've got the NBA playoffs going on in the USA and Canada, and we've got the EuroLeague playoffs going on in Europe, and definitely something if you are a basketball better that you will want to keep your eye on as the final is coming up shortly at the end of this month. Now, we're going to talk about the EuroLeague playoffs and uh, the EuroLeague in general, and um, we're not going to give you any picks here today because we are just finishing up the quarterfinals of the the EuroLeague playoffs and the semifinals are about to start. Uh, they should be starting up next week and it should be a very exciting time if you are into EuroLeague. Now, of course, you can go over to Z Code System and sign up today to get all of the great picks that we post every week. Use all of our systems and tools to make smart wagers on EuroLeague basketball, NBA basketball, NFL, Major League Baseball, soccer, whatever it is that you bet on. Oh, NHL playoffs, which are going on right now. Uh, what it is, whatever it is that you like to bet on, what you like to wager on, what you like to invest in, well, we can handle that over at Zcode System. And we also have things on crypto and uh, some stocks as well, if that is your thing. But we do specialize in sports predictions and picks. So definitely go over there, sign up today, and you will be able to have access to all of this information. And you can always stay up to date with us on YouTube and on our blog. And uh, all we do is ask you to like and subscribe to the channel. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, that is. And uh, leave us some comments down below of these videos to let us know what you think and uh, give us your ideas on what is happening in the world of sports. All right, so let's talk about the Euro League playoffs now, and we're going to do that right now. Okay, so we have the Turkish Airlines Euro League sponsorship reasons, we call it that, but uh, they are going on right now in Europe, across Europe. Uh, the Euro League, if you're not familiar with it, let's talk a little bit about that right now. The Euro League is the premier basketball competition in well in europe and what it is is we have teams such as real madrid barcelona Bayern Munich. these teams who are connected to the uh, famous soccer teams uh, around europe these teams play in the euro league usually during the week uh can be twice weekly uh, that they play but they also play in domestic competitions in their own home countries but the euro league is the premier competition of basketball in the or on the continent. Now, the 2021-2022 season uh, was made up of 18 teams competing uh, across Europe. Now, due to the war in Ukraine, three of those teams were uh, omitted from the EuroLeague this season, so it was down to uh, just 15 teams in the competition uh, after the war in Ukraine started. Uh, but overall, the EuroLeague tournament or, or season uh, consists of teams, 18 teams playing each other one time home and away throughout the season and for a total of 34 games during the regular season. Now, uh, this is fantastic if you're a sports fan because unlike the NBA, you don't have a lot of worthless games, a lot of games where uh, late in the season the teams are, well, they have nothing to play for. Uh, in the EuroLeague, there's always something to play for and the top eight teams at the end of the season, make the playoffs. Now, unlike the NBA or you know usual American sports, there is a single table, a one uh, set of standings. So the top eight teams of the 18 make the playoffs. And this season, we saw uh, Barcelona win the regular season, and they have gone on into the playoffs. They have qualified for the semifinals. They just defeated. Um, Bayern Munich in the quarterfinals of the tournament. So we're going to take a look at the futures odds coming up in just a minute, um, but I'll run down the teams who are currently left uh, in the EuroLeague playoffs. Uh, 
Um, well, when the playoffs started, we saw Barcelona finishing first, Olympiacos, Armani, Exchange, Milan, Real Madrid, Maccabi Tel Aviv, Anadolu, Ifs, AS Monaco, and Bayern Munich all make the playoffs. Those were your top eight teams. And um, now we are actually whittled down to our semifinals uh, as the quarterfinals have wrapped up this week. And so we're going to take a look at that in just a second. Now, the Euro League is fantastic because you see a lot of emerging talent from the continent of Europe uh, playing in, in the competition before possibly moving over to the NBA. And also, we see a lot of ex-NBA players, G League players, as well as NCAA basketball players uh, come over to Europe to play and continue their careers. Now, it's interesting, not too long ago, um, it was argued that uh, there were a lot of players leaving, uh, a lot of American players, I should say, leaving the European Basketball Leagues and the Euro League to go to China because the pressure was far less uh, in China, in the Chinese Basketball Leagues. Uh, the pressure on players in the Euro League is very high. The fans are r rabid, is the best I can say. Some of the atmospheres that you see uh, at games is fantastic. And like I said, it's, it's a lot like European soccer, but inside a basketball arena uh, where you have fans very, very intense and it makes for a great watch when you're watching it. And like I say, the tempo of the games is quite high, more resemb uh, resembling more of what you would see from NCAA college basketball rather than from the NBA. And one of the reasons I love to watch it um, and, you know, maybe the talent isn't as high as in the NBA, but, um, you know, it's it's you know, somewhere in between college basketball and instead of college basketball and uh, the NBA, the atmosphere really makes up for some of the play uh, that you see. Again, great to watch and a lot of fun to bet on. Now, let's take a look at the teams who are left in the EuroLeague playoffs and let's look at the futures odds. Okay, so here we have the futures odds and you will see that there are five teams left uh, in the playoffs. And I did say that we're down to the semifinals, but actually today, as I come to you on Wednesday, the 4th of May, well, we have one last quarter final game to play. Now in the EuroLeague playoffs, the playoffs are all best of five series. So unlike the NBA, where you have best of seven series here in Europe, it is best of five series, which, you know, it, I quite like that. Um, you know, a lot of the times in the NBA, you know, it's, it's more of a money reason why they will stretch it out to be seven games. Uh, but a best of five is makes it more of a sprint rather than a marathon. And you have to be on your game uh, early on so you don't you know, lose that tie. You don't lose that series. In the NBA, you have time to recover if you lose that first or second game. Okay, so as I said before, Barcelona won the uh, regular season in the EuroLeague. They were the number one seed going into the playoffs. And as you can see, they are the favorites according to Bet365, which is my favorite sports book. Of course, other sport books are out there online. Uh, Barcelona are the favorites to lift the EuroLeague trophy at plus 160. We've got Anadolu Fs at plus 260. Now, they won the EuroLeague championship last season. They went through the playoffs and won the title. Uh, Real Madrid, who you can never count out, one of the most successful, well, actually, they are the most successful EuroLeague team with 10 titles in their history. They are at plus 350. Olympiacos, plus 550. And Monaco at plus 1600. Now, uh, tonight, we're going to be seeing Monaco and Olympiacos playing uh, in the fifth game of their best of five series, Olympiacos were the second seed coming into the EuroLeague playoffs. Monaco, the seven seed, but Monaco have pushed them all the way. Uh, this has been a very good series. These teams have traded wins home and away, and we're going to that last game now, the fifth game of the series in Greece as Olympiacos hosts that. And just to give you a quick pick, I think Olympiacos are going to pick up a win here. Um, they are the the higher seed, they're playing at home, they're going to have their home crowd behind them, and I think they'll beat the French team uh, and move on to the semifinals. Now, um, of course, uh, we could see an upset, uh, and we did see one upset earlier in the playoffs when we saw uh, Armani exchange Milan. They were the number three seed. They were knocked out by Anadolu Fs, who were the number six seed. Now, as I said before, Anadolu, who is a Turkish team, they won the EuroLeague last season, and uh, they definitely cannot be counted out from going on to win the tournament this season. 
Now, like I said before, the EuroLeague is a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of fun to watch. Games are very fast-paced, uh, very different than the NBA in terms of the pacing of the game. And also, um, in the presentation of the games, uh, there's not going to see as many timeouts. Uh, at least I don't feel there are as many timeouts as you would see in an NBA game. And um, like I said, it's a lot of fun to bet on. And you can get all of your lines and props for the Euro League from your favorite sports book. So as you can see there, I'm just giving you a quick example of the line, uh, the game line for tonight's Olympiacos Monaco game uh, in Greece. And you can see the Olympiacos are a minus 6.5 favorite. Uh, in the spread uh, and a money line favorite of minus 275. So Olympiaco, excuse me, Olympiacos are expected to pick up the win against Monaco and in uh, the French team's hopes of going on to the semifinals. And let's just before we go today, let's look at the props for the EuroLeague. So you can see that there are a lot of different props that uh, you can explore uh, via your favorite sports book. Uh, and those props can be scrolled through um, well, on your favorite sports book, uh, depending on which one that you use. Um, but all in all, I just want to say that the EuroLeague, again, is a fun league to, fun basketball league to wager on. Uh, a lot of great action. You've got a lot of ex NCAA players, ex NBA players, ex G League players who come over to play. And um, it really adds to this great flavor of basketball here in Europe. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me today here on Z Code System on YouTube. Great to have you back here with us as we talk about basketball and we prepare for the EuroLeague final, which will be tipping off around May 21st. So the best of five series for the semifinals are going to be very quick. All right, guys. Uh, I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please hit that thumbs up, like the video here on YouTube, and subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date on everything we do at Z Code System. We post videos weekly uh, on all of the picks that we give, as well as uh, we post blogs on different information throughout the week. And also, guys, uh, go ahead and comment below. Let us know what you think about our video on the EuroLeague and who you think will win the EuroLeague this year. Uh, is it going to be Barcelona who are the favorites, or could it be AC Milan? Or will Olympiacos go on if they can defeat Monaco tonight like I think they will? All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time here on Z Code System.